Okay, so how do we call the passing play? Well, it first starts off with the formation. And so, one of the formations I'm sure that we'll probably use this year is a pretty basic fundamental one that you'll see in almost all football teams. And that's what people call the pro formation. So you've got your center, and of course if we're playing tackle football, we have our guard and tackle, guard and tackle, but then you've got your X receiver, your Y receiver, and your Z receiver, who also, remember, is the flanker as well. And then I'm going to go ahead and draw in our quarterback. And in the case of flag football, that's all the players we're going to have. <coughs> but when we call a pass play, it actually is the numbers, or the passing tree I showed you guys before, where we run between a 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, or 9 route. And then the way we call that play is it's called an order, X, Y, and Z. So the number that goes first will be the X's route, the number that comes second is the Y's route, and the number that comes third is the Z's route. So you might hear a formation called, which in this case we would say pro right, because the tight end and the Z are to the right, and then we might say we're going to run a 8, 90, 6. And so what that would look like is our tight end, or our split end, the X receiver would take eight steps and he would run an eight route. The Y would run the nine route and our Z would take five steps and run a six route. And so then what you would see is we have a combination of passing routes that we can throw our, the ball to for the quarterback. And so again, so you can see that, again, it's the number, it would be pro right, 896. X would run an 8, Y would run a 9, Z would run a 6. And we can change that up very easily just by the numbers that we call, because we don't have to call that every time. We could call all sorts of different numbers, because if we know all those different routes in our passing tree, it would be just as easy as for to call the same formation and say, I want to run a 6 40 8 route. Well, I don't know if you remember, but a 6 is where he takes five good steps and breaks straight across the formation. The 4 is five good steps, and we come back to the quarterback. And then an eight is eight good steps and over the top. And so that would be a 648. So we can do that in really any formation. Just have to remember is where is my position at and what position in the route is my number. And then we remember what those routes are. But the thing you remember, the most important key is it always goes X, Y, and Z. And then you'll know what route you run. X is always first. Y is always second and Z is always third. So if you remember the different route patterns, you know where you're at in line, you know where you line up, you now know the passing play that you're going to run.